Hi guys, today we are going to be playing with some Urban Decay products and you're probably thinking, wait, did Urban Decay come out with something new? <laughs> that was my thought too when they reached out to me. So I got an email from them about, I don't know, it's been like two or three weeks. It's probably been more than that, maybe like a month ago. And they were like, hey, uh, we're trying to get more into color again. Would you like me to send you some color cosmetics? And I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> so within two minutes, I had my form filled out. I didn't know what I was going to be receiving, but I got my package and what was in the package, I will show you right now. So we have a eyeshadow stick, which I'm not really like someone who uses eyeshadow sticks. So it'll be interesting to play with this a little bit because it's the kind of product that I would kind of like to maybe start wearing a little bit more on days where I don't want to do like a full face of makeup and eyeshadow and just go all out and maybe have something a little bit easier. So this is a blue one. This is in the shade uh, Chaos, which is one of their very famous shadows. It was in the first electric palette, I'm pretty sure. I think it was in the second one as well. Anyway, I also was sent three of their eyeliners, which one I actually have already, which is in the shade Freak. And they also sent me a black one as well as a purple one. So we're gonna play with some of these things. They also sent me an eyeshadow here, which is a red shadow. It's in the shade Floored. So yeah, we're gonna just kind of see what happens. I also got a package from Laura Mercier and I figured, I figured I would maybe pull in one of these things and try it out as well. So the first thing that they sent me was a highlighting powder, which I don't know if this is a finishing powder or if it's a highlighter, but like I said, we'll figure that out when we get to that point. They also sent me, which is really, really cool, more eyeshadow sticks. So I have a lot of the caviar sticks from Laura Mercier. And like I said, it's a product that I haven't really been interested in playing around with too much because it's not really, I don't know, it's not really like how I used to do my makeup and how what my aesthetic is, if that makes sense. So I do have, what, six of them here? Yeah, these are new ones, I'm pretty sure. And what's really cool is this, they sent me this little wheel here. So they have all of the shades on the wheel and you kind of spin the wheel and then you decide which one you're supposed to use. So I figured that's what we could do because this is really fun. And I also don't think I wanna open and use all of these because it's the, like I said, it is the kind of product that I just don't use that often, but I would like to try one of them out. So we're gonna kind of have the wheel decide which one of these that I'm going to use. And that's basically going to be the video. So we're not gonna actually use any powder shadows today, I don't think, maybe, I'm not really sure. I don't really know where this video was going. Uh, like I said, they did send me this shadow, which is a red one. I just don't know if it's really going to go with like the blue stick here. So might be kind of a weird color combination. Maybe I'll use the purple eyeliner. I don't know, this is gonna be strange, but we're gonna just, we're gonna kind of just roll with it. Um, I guess we're gonna start by figuring out which one of these I'm going to use. How do I get a good spin on this thing? Can I, this is, uh, a lot harder than it looks, trust me. Um, I'm gonna hold it so that I can actually flick this. I might have to do this a couple of times just to get like a good spin, but let's just try it and see what happens. Okay, that was pretty good, that was good. Okay, so we're gonna use this one right here, which is the shade called Forbidden Rose, which looks to be more of a, more of like a champagne rose. Let me see if I can find that one. All right, so I have it right here. I'm going to take it out of the packaging. We're gonna give it a, swatch and we're gonna see what we have to work with i'm not really sure like how these are beautiful i mean look at that packaging Ooh, that looks very bougie and very expensive like i know that these are quite expensive obviously uh so let's see okay so this is a little bit wait is this the right one <laughs> like that looks so dark compared to forbidden rose yeah that's what this one is okay let's give this one a swatch okay so that's a lot darker than what's, what i was expecting so it's sort of a like a satiny copper, like warm copper shade. Very interesting. And like I was saying before, I wasn't going to use the red. I mean, this is kind of similar as I probably could have used the red, but yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and give the eyeshadow, eyeshadow stick. I was gonna say eyeshadow swatch. Let's go ahead and give the eyeshadow stick from Urban Ikea swatch as well. So this is, this is what the container looks like. Does it have a, it does have a sharpener on the bottom. That's pretty cool. And there we have the stick itself. So let's see how creamy this is. Yeah, this is very creamy. It doesn't feel as pigmented as I kind of thought at first. Yeah, I definitely have to build it up a little bit. It's almost a little bit on the sheer side. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I, I feel like this is going to blend out very nicely. I'm not sure if it would be like the best for just doing an eyeshadow look with this because I feel like it would start shearing out of it and you would have to build it up. But yeah, very interesting. I'm not really sure what we're gonna, <laughs> it was 4th of July yesterday when I'm filming this. So I feel like I'm kind of getting 4th of July vibes with this still, but we're gonna, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't really have a plan. I'm gonna just start by priming my eyes. I guess I should do that still, even if I'm using an eyeshadow stick, because you always wanna have some kind of a base. Where is my eyeshadow primer? I found it. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> right here in front of me. I'm, of course, going to use my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base as per usual. I'm just gonna put that all over my lids and just blend it out with a fluffy brush. And I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since we are using the eyeshadow stick, I think I'm gonna go ahead and set this with some powder because in my head, it just kind of makes more sense and I feel like it'll be easier to work with a cream on top of the powder than to put a cream on top of a cream. I, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I'm gonna set with just a pressed powder here. This one is from Anna Sweet. I was set this one in PR and I really like it for this purpose. I don't really use pressed powders a lot, but I like it for setting my eyeshadow primer and for also just touching up during the day if I need to powder a little bit. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with, not this one, this one. We're gonna start with blue and I think I wanna do a bit of a big wing or something like that and then have the blue be like the outer portion and then kind of have this one on the lid. Is that gonna look weird? Very possible, but we're gonna try it anyway. So what I'm gonna do, since this thing is quite sharp, I'm gonna use that to draw my wing with. So I'm just gonna start on the outer corner of my eye. Actually, I'm gonna start underneath my eye. I want this underneath my eye as well, and I want this line to extend from underneath my eye and then kind of create the wing from there. So the angle is gonna be a little bit different than if I didn't do that. So I'm just kind of drawing that out with my eye open, obviously, since I do have very hooded eyes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of connect it to the hood of my eye here. And I don't wanna make it too big in the beginning because I wanna make sure that I have control here. And then I'm just filling in like the outer portion of my wing and connecting it to my lid. So I can see now when I'm putting this on my lid, it's definitely on the sheer side. So maybe this would be better used as a base for eyeshadow than being the eyeshadow itself. Or maybe it's just the color of it but it's extremely creamy and very, very easy to work with, which is really nice. So I'm gonna extend it a little bit further here just to make sure I get the angle that I want. And I'm not sure if I wanna pull it any higher up or if I just want it to kind of look like I have a wing on. I'm gonna do the same on this eye and then we'll take it from there. I just wanna kind of do a little bit at a time here just because I don't really have a plan. Just wanna make sure that these are even, which is always the hardest part. And it, it's getting a little bit harder to be precise with this because now that I've used it, it's obviously not as sharp anymore. So maybe I should sharpen this a little bit, but I think I'll be able to do what I wanna do with this before I have to sharpen it. I guess what you could also do if you wanted to be more precise with a product like this is just to take product onto a brush and then use the brush, which would obviously be a little bit easier yeah, so I'm not getting like the straightest line here because like I said, it is starting to not be so sharp anymore. So I'm going to sharpen this a bit. Man, this is making such a mess. Well, I am making such a mess. I was trying to like get rid of the excess on this thing and now I have it all over my hands and I wasn't really able to dump it into my trash. So um, I wouldn't recommend using the sharpener unless you had to. I would use a regular sharpener if you have one on hand because that way at least like the stuff that you you know, sharpen ends up in the container where you sharpen it. So I'm gonna try to just sharpen this line a little bit here. So this is building quite nicely now that I have two layers on. I'm just gonna start bringing this in a little bit further on my eye here. I think I want it to be about half and half of this color and the caviar stick, so I'm just gonna Take it kind of slow and make sure that I get the angle that I want. Like I said, I don't want this to be like super dramatic and like above the hood of my eye. I just kind of want it to look like a big wing here. So just gonna take my time. This is going to be very personal to your eye shape if you wanted to do something similar. Just make sure that when you're doing this, you're kind of looking straight ahead from time to time so you see where it is that it lands on your eye. I think this looks fairly even. Like I was saying though, I'm not really getting like the smoothest, most opaque application. It definitely needs two layers to be nice and opaque. So I don't think that this is the kind of product that I would use just on its own. I'm just gonna take a brush here and just sort of 
blend the edge a little bit here so that when I go in with the other color I'll be able to blend these together a little bit easier and not have a sharp line. It's a little bit hard to blend out. It seems like it dries down pretty fast. Let me know if you guys have like these kind of products and how you use them because for me, I'm like a little bit confused. I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> like, what is the best way of, are these even? I don't think they are, but we're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna use the caviar stick now and just basically put that on the rest of my lid. Is this color combination gonna work together? I don't know, but this is just kind of what we're doing. So I'm not gonna use any powder eyeshadows. Like I said, we're just gonna kind of put these two on and see what happens. So this is a lot creamier and goes on a lot smoother because I feel like this is the kind of product that is supposed to be a standalone product. Like you're supposed to kind of use this and just do a very, very quick makeup look and maybe blend the edges a little bit and be out the door, which is kind of something that I want to start playing around with a little bit because now that I have somewhere I need to go on Tuesdays and I have to be out of the house pretty, pretty early, I'm not really going to have time to, you know, do crazy makeup unless I decide that I want to get up even earlier, which I probably will not. So I want to be able to just have some options that are very simple and easy and I feel like these kind of products would would be that even though the colors aren't exactly you know what I would go for I definitely prefer something that's a little bit more colorful I don't know about this you guys this is looking absolutely crazy uh, maybe I should blend out the edges a little bit on this color I do feel like the, the formula on these caviar sticks though are really, really nice. And it's the kind of product that I like to use as a base for multichromes and such because multichromes tend to crease on me. But if I had any kind of this kind of product, like a eyeshadow stick underneath, I feel like that makes for a very, very good base. And it really makes my, my multichromes really stay put, which they do tend to crease on me quite a bit. So... What shall I do here? I'm not really sure if I like where this is going. Maybe I will top it with some kind of eyeshadow. I don't really know. I'm gonna just take a small brush here. This one is from Morphe. And I'm just gonna kind of blend the edge in the beginning and make sure that this is looking the way that I want it to here. Yeah, this is blending out very, very easily. What can I do to sort of get a better transition between these two shades? Are these even? Let me just take a little bit more of that caviar stick and just get a bit more pigment on. So the formula on these are very, they're very subtle and satin-like, which I mean, I totally get it because that is the kind of product that a lot of people really like for easy looks. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, I hate this, even though like for me, formula-wise, it's not something that I would gravitate towards a lot. But like I said, I do want to kind of start playing around with some simpler looks just for that one day of the week where I'm kind of in a hurry. So how do I feel about this? Uh, not great, not gonna lie. Can I do anything to fix this? There is something that needs to be done just to merge the blue in with that other color. Can I take a little bit of this on a brush maybe? I'm gonna take a pencil brush and just take some of that blue on that brush. This one is from Alter Ego. It's the number, what are you? Number seven brush. It's just a nice, sort of bullety pencil brush. It's, it's, it's more of a, a big pencil brush, I guess you could call it. And I'm just gonna try to get a good blend between these two colors. Now, these two colors aren't really the best to blend in together just because of, you know, the nature of the colors, but we're gonna just try to take our time here and get a good blend. I'm gonna have to go back and forth quite a lot here. Okay, the blend is getting better. The color combination, on the other hand, not the biggest fan of, but like, we're just testing out these products. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of this caviar stick underneath my eye, sort of in the front portion here, so that it can look the same on the top and the bottom. And maybe this will make it all come together. These are actually really nice on the lower lash line. And just taking that same brush that I had the blue on, and I'm just going to rub these together a little bit here and try to get a blend. You do have to sort of work a little bit fast blending these two products in together because they are both a cream that sets down to a powder. So I think this is where I'm going. I hate this look. <laughs> uh, is there anything I can do to fix this? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe like a banging inner corner highlight. What if I do a blue inner corner highlight? <laughs> Just 
to make this even crazier. Oh man, what is what is this day? What is this look? Not what I was planning to do today, but here we are. Let's do a blue unicorn highlight. <laughs> Let me find one of my Bitter Lace Beauty highlighters. I don't think this is, oh, maybe that is the one that I want to use. That is so pretty. Let's use this one. This is in the shade, what are you? Probably Lucid, that's what I thought it was. I'm gonna spray this a little bit just to make it nice and intense because that way it'll take all the attention away from what is going on on my lid and everybody will only look at my inner corner highlight because it's going to be so intense. Love it. I love it so much. See, already this look is so much better just because you pull in a little bit of sparkle and shine. And I really like that it's sort of like blue, red, blue, you know? Like, I don't know. I think this is way more fun this way. Okay, this is absolutely crazy. Do I want to do anything else? So I did want to use one of these eyeliners as well, but like, it's just not gonna go. <laughs> Uh, this look doesn't go anyway, so why don't we just use it? <laughs> I'm gonna use the purple one, I guess. So let's try this one. This is in the shade Psychedelic Sister. Gonna open this. I do really like the eyeliners from Urban Decay. I have quite a few of them. So this is a metallic purple, I think, if I can get this open. Let's give that a swatch as well. Oh shit, I just broke it. I just broke it. No, no, oh man, it's just, it's so creamy. I need to sharpen it. You know what's funny? I actually have an Urban Decay sharpener that I've had for years, <laughs> for such a long time and it's going so strong still. Okay, so I sharpen it probably a bit too much and it's probably going to, oh my God, look at my hand. I am such a mess. Okay, let me try to give this, ooh, that is so nice and creamy. I forgot just how creamy these are when they're new because all the ones that I have are so old and probably should not be used in my waterline anymore, but I keep doing it anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my waterline and yeah, that is beautiful. I do really, really like these eyeliners. I kind of needed a new purple one, so that turned out very, very good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my eyes, just throw on some mascara, maybe some liner. Maybe I'll try to do something else to do something with this look. I'm not really sure. I'll be right back. This is where we're at and I think that it looks a little bit better. I gotta admit though, that blue is not not looking the best. Yeah, not looking great. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this highlighting powder from Laura Mercier here and we're gonna see see what this thing is. If it is a highlighting powder, I mean that's exactly what it is. I was gonna say if it's a highlighter or if it's a sort of more finishing powder. Ooh, that looks so bougie and so pretty. I love that packaging. But that looks really, really nice. So let's see what is inside. Okay, so that looks like, it looks like a highlighter. Uh, let me go ahead and swatch it. That feels very, very smooth. Very smooth. I'm not really sure if this is, is it a subtle highlighter or is it more like a, I feel like it's more like a finishing powder. Let's try it as a highlighter first though. Cause I can definitely use that as like an all over powder. I feel like that would actually look quite nice. But like I said, let's try it as a highlighter first. I'm gonna use, let's see, let's use a small brush here so I can get a nice and precise application. I'm gonna use this one. This is a brush from What's Up Beauty. It's the R104 brush. Just gonna take some of that. It picks up very nicely. It, it definitely has the consistency of more of a finishing powder, but we're gonna try it as a highlighter. For, oh, oh. That is way more intense as a highlighter than what I, that actually looks so good. Oh, oh, I like that a lot. I really, really like that. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, definitely not gonna be using this all over my face because that would be way too much glow for my liking. But as a highlighter, this is beautiful. It's definitely quite subtle and like, a wearable color, but I think that it just looks really, really nice on the skin. It doesn't enhance any texture. It just lays nicely, gives a nice glow. I'm gonna take my blush brush a little bit just so I can make sure I merge these in together and get a good blend. That looks so, I really like that. Wow, I like that so much more than I thought I would. Doesn't that look so pretty? Uh, so, 
very happy I tried that out. I think I'm just gonna put on a lipstick and call it a day. If you wanna know what blush I'm wearing, I'm wearing one from Odenside. This is the indie shade Water Lily. It's one of the sort of satiny, it's not really satiny, but it's one of the glowy blushes. I don't find them to be that glowy, which, you know, honestly, I like that. I'm gonna put on a lipstick and I think that's gonna be it. So I went with Water Lily from Odenside. This is one of the cream lip stains. You guys know I love these. So to sum up my thoughts, Thank you Urban Decay for sending me some products. I'm sorry I didn't really like the eyeshadow stick. I think that this is just not the way to use this. I think using these as more of a base is going to be way, way, way better. So using these as a base to powder eyeshadows and putting something over the top and not just using it on its own. Uh, you could probably use these in the waterline, but I feel like they probably won't. I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't go in as nicely as like the regular eyeliners because they are a little bit on the on the sheer side. I don't know if it's just this color or if the other colors in these eyeshadow sticks are the same, but this definitely won't be a favorite of mine. I probably won't use it for anything else than if I ever need a blue base. I will probably use this to put down first. The eyeliners I obviously love because I have so many of them already and I'm very grateful to have two more to add to my collection. The eyeshadow sticks from Laura Mercier, I really, really like the formula of them. I think that they are beautiful. I think they last really well. Like I said, I do have multiples of them and I've used them many, many times and tested them out. They wear super well. They're really easy to work with. They're super nice and smooth and pigmented and creamy. And I mean, everything that you would want in an eyeshadow stick, if they have colors in these that you like, I would say try one because they're really, 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 really nice. And they also make for beautiful eyeshadow bases. Like I said, they're very, very smooth and easy to use. The highlighter, I can't get over just how beautiful that is. Like I'm looking in the monitor and it looks, or the viewfinder, and it looks so just wet looking and smooth. And in real life, it's looking a little bit more subtle, but like on camera, it actually looks more intense than I feel like it looks in real life. But I can imagine like being out in the sun and just being, you know, being somewhere. It's just gonna look so nice. And I really like it. I really, really like this. I'm shocked at how much I like this because you guys know, usually I go for like the super sparkly and glittery highlighters that are like crazy colors, but this is really, really, really nice if you've been looking for a more subtle or, how do I say this? A more normal colored highlighter that is still nice and intense. This would probably be really nice. And I feel like you could probably use this as like a glowy powder as well if you wanted to. Now, personally, I don't really like being glowy because I do have oily skin, so it's just not really the look and stuff that I'm going for, but I feel like you could probably use it if you go in very lightly. Obviously, I used a very dense brush today to apply this with, but if you go in with a big fluffy brush and just kind of buff a little bit, you could probably use it in that way as well. And I really like this. I really like this. I'm shocked at how much I like this, but that's beautiful. All right, thank you, Laura Mercier, as well. If you ever see this video, you probably won't, but I really appreciate being able to test out the products. It's been so much fun. So I think that's gonna be it for today. Let me know if you've tried any of these eyeshadow sticks and let me know how you use these kind of products. I would love to just get some more ideas on what I can do with them myself because I do wanna keep playing with these and just seeing like, what I could do with them, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. If you wanna see another video, I'll pop one up right here. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.